the coffee uh, meeting or the poetry that she was talking about that's where i found the love of my life and i married her तो इसी बात पे शुरू करते हैं कि आई लाइक टू मिक्स लैंग्वेजेस आई लाइक टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन सम वन द आफ्टरनून वी हैड ब्यूटीफुल सेशंस लाइक ग्रेट सेशंस दैट आई अटेंडेड एंड देर वाज सो मच लर्निंग एंड थिंग्स टू टेक बैक फ्रॉम एंड सम वन वाज आस्किंग लाइक व्हाट अबाउट द प्योरेस्ट द प्योरेस्ट आर नॉट अग्रींग टू द आर्ट फॉर्म एंड हेल्प विद द प्योरेस्ट इफ यू डोंट एक्सपेरिमेंट विद आर्ट हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू क्रिएट न्यू आर्ट सो आई थिंक she was saying in the coming years i think there are already so many beautiful people thank you all let's have a round of applause for carolina norbu lovely let's have a round of applause for elaf woo kari padu and the whole team what a job and thank you so much for being here this afternoon uh, this evening we start with love so that we can break boundaries साहिर लुधियानवी से ये महलों ये तख्तों ये ताजों की दुनिया ये इंसान के दुश्मन समाजों की दुनिया ये दौलत के भूखे रवाजों की दुनिया ये दुनिया अगर मिल भिजाए तो क्या है ये दुनिया अगर मिल भिजाए तो क्या है हर एक जिस्म घायल हर एक रूह प्यासी निगाहों में उलझन दिलों में उदासी ये दुनिया है या आलम बद हवासी ये दुनिया अगर मिल भी जाए तो क्या है आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड ऑल लैंग्वेजेस बट आई अंडरस्टैंड लव मुझे सारी भाषाएं नहीं आती पर प्यार समझ आता है मुआई सब भाखा ना जानो किंतु प्रेम और भाखा जानो ये ना कि अल्लाह बाशे तरी याद आना अंब पुरी हों आमी सब भाषा जानी ना किंतु भालो भाषा बुझी माला सगला भाषा मायत नहीं है पर प्रेम मायत है माला नंगा ये अल्लाह बाशे बरो दिल्ला नंगा प्रेम आरता आता Love and poetry can be found anywhere. It can be found in Kabir's Dohas, Namdev and Tukaram's Abhangs, Tiruvalluvar's Tirukurals, or the Baul Geet of Bengal, or in the Bhatiyali songs of Assam, or in the prayer songs of Arunachal, or in the blue mortal tick marks of your WhatsApp. or in the swag of a mohawk hairstyle love sticks out like the tongue of a kali love sticks out like the tongue of a kali suckles like a baby on its mother's breast trickles like raindrops from tendrils rolls down like beads of sweat while love making drives at 200 miles per hour without a seat belt and faints at nothing love faints at nothing love is fearless so i wanted uh, my in-laws to be here this evening but unfortunately this is a poem which i wrote during my uh, first arunachali residency in basar for a month and i'm going to begin a small prelude with a song which my father in law composed or rather i would say other father i don't want to bring in legislations when i talk about love <clears throat> so he wrote this song and it's in uh, of course um he sang this way back in the 80s and because this is the right prelude to this poem it's called basar it's about brotherhood for people who don't understand i think most of you do or for people who don't understand it's about brotherhood and coming together geetam gadha sitam gadha gombalokan logona tani hima bajuka e balokan old galo songs don't play on the radio anymore 
I asked Mikom to sing Moge Doji or Marto Kamdag or Mibin Yadu, who the locals say sings better than Lata Mangeshkar. I hear children sing Bollywood. It's cool. Who sings in Galo? Everybody has their versions of folk tales, yarn and carving songs at weddings, own ways of speaking Galo, code words broadcasted verbally to children. Who reads? Written text. Walking aimlessly in the valley, I see two kids playing with gaities. I ask, where can I buy one? Pinjum and Kirdum laugh at me. You make it on your own. Who wants to shop online? Tokupata roof lasts for 15 years. Bamboo roofs shine longer. All you need is food to be cooked for villagers helping to build the house. Bamboos are known to survive the atomic blasts of Hiroshima. Who needs cement? Between freedom and chain, between freedom and chain, life strives like a mithun. You can tell if a mithun is healthy by the size of its hump and the front lobe. The healthy one go to the bright side. Who looks at shine in the eyes? Lisum and liquor are anti-conomens, but their value in the plains are unknown. The galo are laden with them during weddings and nidaparik, the welcome dance. Holding sliced branches from ancient trees for good omen, with cane hats adorned with bare hair, and the beaks of hornbills? Who needs blood diamond? Who needs blood diamond? I'm sure most of you have shifted to engaging yourself in blood diamond, but yeah. So people keep asking, you know, it's very uh, scary in a way because the times are such. And it's about geography, it's about boundaries, and we don't belong anywhere. I mean, there's a huge nothingness where you're endlessly discriminating, endlessly talking about how to, like, put people away from each other. So this poem is called Biodata. It was written for the uh, Saith Academy Young Writers Festival for the Jammu thing. They asked me, why do I write? And I kept thinking, why do I write? Because sometimes it's like the coming home of cattle in the evening, some poems come on page. And sometimes it's like you need to sit with a drunk friend for days together to discuss a problem. So it's like that. So it's very difficult how a poem comes home. And uh, so this is just about who I am. It's called Biodata. And now that I'm submitting the Biodata, I hope I get more jobs. And <laughs> so I'm a Tanjore Maharashtrian, and, uh, which means I migrated from Maharashtra to Tanjore and, and then settled there. So basically we speak at home in Marathi but, uh, and Bengali because I'm born brought up in Calcutta and then but uh, eat all the sambar rasa midli dosa. It's very confusing. So, and then of course married to someone from here who is, I'm a wedge. She's, so there's like, we kind of, you know, we are here but we are not from here. We can go somewhere else but we are not from there either. And then we can go somewhere else and we can keep doing that. And it's an endless chain. And it's very difficult to say where we belong. A Tanjore Maharashtrian toddling on the banks of the river Hooghly, which sleeps to my grandmother's Kanadiga lullaby, soaked in the taste of rasam and sambar, served day after day with begun or alu bhaja. I speak nomadic of my ancestors, Marathi from where they migrated, Tamil from where they settled, Kannada from porous borders, Bengali from the softness of the Ganges clay, English from the convent where I schooled, caught reciting Hanuman Chalisa at the altar of the school's chapel. Waking up to MS Subhalakshmi, finding peace in the love of Mehbub Ilahi. In love with a Galo girl from Arunachal, where the shadow of clouds rest on mountains and the Yongo and the Siang rivers fall in love. Who speaks better Telugu than my mother and sings ghazals like Penaz Masani and loves Ghalib like Delhi ever did? How could I not write poetry? How could I not write poetry? Wow. 
if you're liking it, it's okay. Otherwise, there are just a couple of more poems because I'm not in a hurry. I'm just happy that we all are here together. I'm not in a hurry to recite poems. I keep doing that all the time. And here is another thing, because through the day, we were discussing about how we are losing culture. It's just not about losing our culture or something like that. It's also about establishing uh, a kind of thing, uh, like a power, a kind of statement. So my wife first time wore a gala in Dehradun Literature Festival where I was invited. That's where publicly she wore a gala first. Can you imagine? And now she loves wearing it. Because I myself wear a lot of veshtis and things like that to events. And so this is for my uh, mother-in-law, Poga Karso. And all those women who weave till today with those looms, backstrap looms, weave a gala. The poem is called Gala. This goes out to all the beautiful women who loom today at home and all the power they seek from it to give away to daughters and relatives who are not able to weave. And it's not loss of culture, it's a loss of a beautiful thing from the face of the earth. And that loom goes back to Mayan culture. It goes back to wherever you can trace it. That's the simplest. But we have taken assembly line clothes. Rose those rupees ki t-shirt pehnengi, but but we want to be different also. That's there. So here, the poem is called Gala. Wrap and weft is the system which, which, you know, do the whole thing. So just one technical term of looming, nothing else, don't worry. Gala. For Poga Karso. The wrap and weft of stories knit life and lore tightly. Automated looms loom, the dust on our hands draw debt and dullness takes over. The assembly lines kill culture, societies now come in same clothes. She meditates like a mountain, one end of the loom tied to the, tied to the window, an antelope of light leaps looking for a companion. The other end to her spine. Her nerves run through the universe. There are no permanent fixtures. The voice of a fabric is untamable. Her dyes die. Her dyes don't bleed. Her dyes don't bleed. She bleeds love for daughters. Brocades of rain, fashion, decorative dashes, peacock plumes, lakes of lilacs that drown man and machines. Her colors are infinite, her needles converse in codes. My